Athletics have started again at the University of Tampa, but are athletes safe from COVID-19? Bob Martinez Athletic Center fully reopened on September 9th, but with major changes. The biggest change of all is that sports teams must practice in small groups of just 10 athletes. Depending on the size of the team, some teams have up to 10 different groups for practices and designated team lifts. This is all in an effort to reduce high-risk exposure of COVID-19. Some of the things we've done is reduce the size of groups that are allowed to practice and that are allowed to be in the weight room. Uh, less people means less susceptibility that COVID-19 is transferred from one student athlete to another. The athletic staff is slowly testing 10% of athletes from each team every two weeks. Masks are also required throughout the entire athletic complex. Athletes also must fill out a survey every day confirming they show no symptoms of COVID-19 or have been exposed to it. They must also take their temperature every day before practice and before going into the weight room. I think the rules are really good for keeping everyone safe, but having to wear a mask in the weight room can be difficult sometimes when you're lifting weights and stuff. But as long as we're keeping everyone else healthy, then that's the main goal. UT's athletes are practicing hard, but the uncertainty of having a season remains a big question mark. This is Dakota Bush, UT TV, Spartan News.